Today's my birthday, by the way. We're recording this on my birthday. Oh, yeah. So I'm going through the entire age crisis right now. <laughs> Perfect. Hello. This is the, what's it called? This is the five year um, interview revisit. <laughs> In case you don't remember, this is my cousin. We, she, she, she's only shown up five years ago in my videos. But now she's back because I realized that um, when you interviewed me, we recorded it on my birthday in 2018 when I was 20 and you were 17 turning 18. Now I am turning 25 tomorrow. Ugh. You're 22. That doesn't make sense. It still doesn't make sense to me. I don't think you're 22 in my head. I don't think I was 22 either. So that's okay. Do you want to interview me or we can just like interview or do you want to answer the questions now this time around? Mm -mm. I'll, I'll ask you the question. <laughs> I'm still in charge here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get on with it. What's your name? My name is Tina Kim Nguyen, and I use she, her pronouns. How do we know each other? We are cousins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good one. Um, what is your favorite memory of me? Did you get a new one since our last one? Um, Even though we haven't seen each other in five years? Yeah. I mean, realistically, I do think it is the Christmases we spend together nowadays, like as adults, because we don't see each other like in person very much anymore. Yeah. And especially on it, the past couple, yeah, especially since the pandemic started, like we haven't seen each other at all in person. Like it's all been like um, FaceTime calls, stuff like that. There was one Christmas where we wore like matching sweatshirts, and I thought that was fun. I think that one was one of my favorite. I think, yeah, I think we made that video like right after. Or we did that Christmas right after that video or something. Was it? Oh my god, you're right. I think so, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Describe yourself in five words. Oh no. You I hate this I, one too. You think I'd prepare, you know, like, I was like, oh, right. I read these questions. I like, know. Okay, nice. Yeah. I am funny. Mm -hmm. I am smart. I am kind. Mm. I am quirky. Quirky. <laughs> And I am a uh, creative. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't know how to describe myself for interviews. So if you need tips, let me know. I I haven't done like a formal job interview in so long, and I'm not prepared for when I have to do it. No, yeah, I got so nervous at my last one. And, oh. Oh god, it was so bad. Anyways, anyways, not about me. How do you spend your free time? How do I spend my free time? Um, I've been playing video games a lot more recently i like literally maybe like two three weeks ago i started to get back into crochet i saw a youtube video about like these little triceratops and i was like yeah i saw the ones where they like make these big like plushies with like a super thick you know yarn or whatever it looks like so cute yeah no, but really. what games have you been playing oh yeah. i used to play a lot of animal crossing i kind of haven't done it in the past year or so just because the, the past year was really busy for me very recently i started playing hades which usually isn't like the type of game that I like to play, but like, it's really good. It's a really good game. I really enjoy it. I like the characters and stuff. I've stuck in so many hours of Hades. It's a little bit embarrassing. There was one day over the holiday break that I, I just spent all day playing Hades. And then um, I started playing Pokemon Legends of Arceus because of Greg. Cause I was like, oh, I want to get into Pokemon because you like Pokemon, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed with it because there's so many like, Pokemon and then like you, and then like you have to catch them all and mm -hmm. you have to catch more in order to fill out the Pokedex But now I have like like six Bidoofs and like five Weasels I'm trying to find a big Weasel that's at least two foot eight and my tallest one is two foot seven. Oh But um, you have to struggle out there. Yeah, but those are the main big ones that I've been playing I'd say recently if you could travel anywhere. Where would it be and why? I just travel anywhere at this point, you know. I I realized that I haven't traveled like to very many places, mm -hmm. especially as an adult. Like I've been to like, New York a lot for some reason, but um like mostly for like jobs and stuff, but I haven't had a chance to actually like, travel around and go places. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to do that, but I think the difficult thing with that is just figuring out like timing and planning and stuff because they say as an actor if you want to like book something plan a vacation because it's always you're always going to get a big audition when you're like out of town or going away or something like that okay I so agree. where are we going 
I remember I was I was like um in back in February I was going home to visit my parents and see the baby. The day before I left, they were like, "Hey, there's this audition for like um a, a pilot for a TV show," and I was like, "I guess I'm sending in a self tape while I'm at my parents' house." So I that's the difficult part for me, I think. Do you remember what you said in your last video? Um, I think I said I wanted to go to Canada. I want to go to Canada. Ooh, love Canada. Cause Canada. I love. I love Canada. I love the maple syrup. <laughs> that still remains true. I would like to go to Canada. Greg went to Canada. He didn't take oh. me. <laughs> we should go to Canada. I really want to go too. <gasps> we could yeah. go together. <laughs> yeah, my friend has family over there. Really? Yeah. So that would be really fun. What would you do if you won the lottery? If I won the lottery, I would, like I, would, I, I would cry first. I would cry because yeah. that's overwhelming. Because people's lives are ruined over the lottery, you know? Yeah. yeah. So first I'd cry. Uh, you said a million dollars? Yeah, at least. You know, it's like a big, big lottery. You said this last time too. You said like a whole million. I will just say a million dollars. Million dollars. Oh, oh boy. A whole million. But... <laughs> I'm glad I haven't changed. <laughs> I think my answer would still stay the same. You know, like take care of like the necessities and stuff. Um, my dad is formally retired now, which is different from last time. My dad is formally retired now. I don't know. Uh, maybe like buy a house, a nice house. That'd be nice. You know, get some equity. <laughs> Look, what I've learned is you have to hire someone to oh. hand me money for you. Right. I feel like as a kid, you're like, yeah, we're gonna buy a big house. And yeah. And then as an adult, you're like, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get lawyers and like, uh, accountants and like. Yeah, like. What? <laughs> it's much more stressful. What is your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment. Yeah. Has it changed over the last five years? Did you get a new one? I think it still stands that I don't get very embarrassed. I find it really hard to like get embarrassed. I think I'll have a moment where I'll be just like, oh no, you know, but yeah, I'm like a cringe. Yeah, my personal most embarrassing moment was when I tried to like ask a guy out and then he said no, and I was like, okay, okay, but I was just like, I'm gonna cringe because. Yeah. Well, now look at you yeah, but, um, with Greg. Do you have an embarrassing moment? I honestly, I feel like. I'll think about them a lot, but then once people ask me, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Or like, it's too embarrassing to say on the internet. Oh. I can't really think of anything. I mean, the most recent thing was like me almost falling at my job, but like, I do that all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. What age do you feel like right now? I feel regrettably <laughs> 25. There's still times when I'm like, oh, you know, I still feel like I'm like, a teenager especially when i'm like back in texas or like i feel like i don't know what i'm doing you know with my life but no other age feels correct right now other than the one that i currently am slash will be which makes me feel weird because i'm old i'm not old i know i'm not old but i feel old like yeah. we did the interview in 20 was it 2018 or 2017 well i mean if it's five years it's 2018 or maybe 28 it's always 2018 because i was 17 in January. You're right, because you were still in high school. Yeah. Yeah. And you were talking about colleges. Okay. Yeah. So 2018, that was that was the year in the months following that I booked um a pretty like my first like Chicago show. I was the baby in that group. I was 20 and everyone else was like mid to late 20s. And so now I find myself approaching the age that they are. And I feel like, you know, I looked up to these people when I was 20. And it's like, would I look up to me right now if I, you know, would 20 year old teen look up to me right now? I think, the I think she would. <laughs> I think she would. She's done so much. <laughs> Two different answers. But <laughs> I mean, like, we've done so much in five years. I feel like when you're 20, you and you're like, oh, well, I did all of these things. Yeah. I think I'm just really harsh on myself. I think 20 year old Tina would be freaking out that we, like, made our off Broadway debut. Yeah, for sure. I think, like, especially that. Yeah. But, like, I think it, I think it's hard because I, I feel like I'm too hard on myself. I don't know. I feel like Tina, older or younger Tina, would be more accepting or whatever. You're right. She would. <laughs> Who has been the most important person in your life? I could say you. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> we all know who it is. I feel like it's hard to say like one person, you know? I feel like just lots of people have had influence on my life. But I think at the moment it is Greg. Because I really like him. Yeah. And also it's like, I don't know, Greg's like my first like serious relationship, you know? Yeah, yeah that's like and super so special. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm learning a lot 
about like love mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah like being yeah, with another yeah. person yeah mm-hmm. and he's also the person that like really like encouraged me to i'd been looking into therapy and stuff but he was the one that's like hey you know you should take that first step and like you know go for it yeah, yeah. Uh, so i do appreciate him for that he better be you know treating you right or whatever oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh do you remember what you said last year for that question i think i think i also jokingly said you and you're like you're like it's okay say me who has been the most important person in your life it's you <gasps> oh wow <laughs> wow i think i did this i think i get the same answers like there's there's no one person and i don't think i i don't think i gave like an answer okay no I, I think i just gave a general non-answer okay 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 look at you look at you having an actual person <laughs> what kind of student were you in high school i was real nerdy I was real quiet and I was real sad. <laughs> I think okay. that's the sounds like a lot of us. Yeah, I think high school was fine for me just because like I did like extracurriculars and stuff, but I didn't really like go out and socialize with people. So, like I would talk to them in classes and you know stuff like that, but then I would go home and then do nothing by myself. That's why I don't talk to a lot of people from high school anymore. Um, just because like we didn't really bond that much, and so like once you know the time came, we kind of drifted apart i used to journal a lot in high school i don't really do that as much now i'll do it like maybe once or twice a month now i used yeah. to journal like li- literally every day every day I, yeah. I i made it my new year's resolution at the time i remember to journal every day i don't do that anymore i try i, I really try i intend to and then i i don't yeah i feel like i mean it's harder you know because you have so much going on mm-hmm. yeah i i mean i did continue it into college mm-hmm. but um i I had stopped because there was some point where like I felt like I was like going in circles, you know, like just like thought wise. I was thinking I was writing down and thinking the same things over and over again. I was like, this is not beneficial for me. So I stopped for a while. And then there's some drama going on in my life. So I would use it to like let that out. And now I just like keep up with like small life updates instead of yeah. like, you know, my thoughts every single day. Right. I feel like it's better now that you have a person to talk to you about stuff like that. Instead yeah. Of- and also I go to therapy now. She got her appointment in one and a half hours. I do. When did you first fall in love? Um, I mean, I guess a year and a half ago. Gross. Ew. Disgusting. Disgusting. Ew. Well, actually, actually, technically, I didn't tell him that I loved him until January of last year. So it will be almost a year. I had been wanting to say it for a while. I will say it. Hold him back. Yeah. That was scary. Yeah, I, you um, said, you, did, did you say it first? Or did he I did it say first? it first. He, he was a late bloomer. Oh. He was a late bloomer. He didn't say yeah. it. Too. Oh my <laughs> God. I can, never, I can never say it first. I get too shy. Yeah. The thought of rejection scares me. Greg had come to visit me in New York for when I was in rehearsals for Winnie the Pooh. And so he, he, he came to visit for like two, three days. I had this talk with him about, you know, like, it's like, hey, what if I want to tell you something, but like, I'm scared of how you act. He's like, you know, if you want to say it, just say it. You know, you shouldn't feel scared to like say it. And I was like, uh-huh. you're right. So the last day we were hugging goodbye. And then I was like hugging him. And I was like, Greg, don't make a big, big, big deal out of this. But I love you. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> it would. It's just how I imagined you would say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. It's very you. But. Yeah, that's how I said it. But and then I, what did he say? He said okay. <laughs> no, okay. I don't, think, I don't think he said okay. I, I, I don't remember exactly. You don't remember what he said? Oh. I, I just remember that I was like, he didn't say it back. And I felt bad for a while. But I was like, I also should not pressure him to say it, you know? You're right, you're right. Like, like, oh, he God. He'll say it when he's ready. He did, and he did say it eventually when he was ready. He was at my place. And I said, he said I told him like, bye, I love you. And, he, and I heard something. He said, because like, I was like drunk. So I did exactly what uh-huh. he So I was like, I was like, what? He said, mm-hmm. I love you too. And I was like, oh oh okay and i closed the door and i cried it was 1 a.m i was like sobbing oh that's super sweet following that can you tell me about your first kiss my first kiss well okay well we won't talk about your first actual kiss (laughs) my first kiss was my senior year of high school i was in a show where like the character that i played was kissing another character and in hindsight you know, maybe my theater director should have, like, either one, not picked this play, or two, figured out a way to, like, intimacy coordinate, because you're asking high schoolers to kiss each other, which is, you know, a lot. Right. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I was like, I will not let my first kiss be a stage kiss, but honestly, I probably should have. It would have been fine. But um, I was like, I'm not gonna let that happen. So I went to the guy that I liked at the time, 
and you know we were just like talking and i don't remember how the conversation went but like eventually it was like he was like you know it's like hey uh, would, would, would you like me to be your first kiss and i was like okay and so we kissed and then i cried because of course i did <laughs> it's okay she's just super emotional and it's high school like, <laughs> i get it i have so many emotions i just cry a lot i feel that oh my god my first kiss was really awkward <laughs> was it so, you never it told me about your first kiss um uh, basically it was me and my boyfriend at the time and then we were in my car after I was like after band practice or something and we we're just talking and then it was late and then he was leaving and he kissed me and I didn't kiss him back <laughs> and then he pulled away and I said oh my god and then he was like we all just we were just staring at each other and he just left and I was like that was the most awkward shit I've ever oh my god <laughs> it was so cringy it was so cringy and then I'm pretty sure he talked about it the next day he was like yeah I don't think she likes me but yeah Super awkward. I didn't know what to do. Oh. That's okay. Look at me now. We're all that's good always, though. That's, that's always how it goes, right? Uh-huh. It's a little awkward. Maybe you cry. I didn't cry, but I felt <laughs> like crying for sure. No, I think I'm the anomaly here. I don't think it's normal to cry. That's <laughs> uh, okay. What are you most afraid of? What am I most afraid of? I'm afraid of death, but not like, I'm not afraid of like dying. I'm afraid of like, my brain has trouble comprehending its non-existence, you know? Dude, yes, I feel that too. I'm like, I'm just still gonna be here. Like, I understand yeah. that I won't feel it or like- I Yeah, won't. yeah. It's like, it's like my brain's like, it's like, you weren't, you didn't understand before you were born. You're just under, yes. you understand like after you die. But like, my brain's that. like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah, like, I what if I just feel nothing forever, you know? I don't like oh that. God. No, I, like I literally, that. sometimes I'll lay in bed and I'll think about it and I'll just go, yes. ah! no yes or I'm literally I'm scream driving out loud. Home, i'll be driving home and then like i'll think about it and i'm like what if i just die right now and then like and then what and i just feel nothing oh my god scary no yeah that, it is scary like like i'm not afraid of like dying you know like if my time comes the time my time comes you know i'm afraid of like not thinking and feeling yeah yeah Ooh. i feel like i feel like my soul will just be in like pitch black for like the rest <laughs> of eternity or something and then and then what? I'll just get bored. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I'm scared of. I'm also yeah. scared of most bugs. Most bugs. Some bugs are cool. I like looking at some bugs, but sometimes I'll see a bug and I'll be like, I don't want to touch it. I, I don't want it. And then what's also... worse than a bug? A dead bug. Mm-hmm. True. True. Actually, I don't really care about dead bugs because I just vacuum them up. But oh, that's smart. <laughs> that's smart because mm-hmm. that sometimes I'm like I'm like I don't know what to do with this like dead body now you know vacuum and then I feel bad because I'm like oh I just committed murder nope I don't oh, care bugs. but also I'm scared of like butterflies and ladybugs too like I'm that bitch like I, I'm sorry I just can't <laughs> anything that has tiny little legs I cannot do it anyway anyways yeah good answers I feel that <laughs> what's something you wish you knew when you were younger I wish I knew that it's going to be okay. I think that was something that I really worried about a lot, especially in high school. I was like, I don't know if it's gonna be okay or not, just because I was in so much like you know emo- emotional turmoil. I feel like now I'm still I still cry a lot. You know, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I still cry so much. But I have a lot more friends who you know are here to support me. I have a boyfriend now who really likes me, and I like him. I have a place of my own that I can like do whatever I want with it even though it's really messy right now and it's 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 really messy right now and that's okay that's okay I think I'm doing a lot better at like being kinder to myself um I'm doing a lot of things like career-wise that I didn't think would be possible so I I just want to tell it that it's gonna be okay stop freaking out it's gonna be okay yeah it's gonna be okay <laughs> And even if like something terrible happens, it's gonna be okay later. Yeah, you know, now if you spend too much worrying about like your future or whatever, like, and then you're just gonna think about the past when you're older and you're gonna be like, oh my God, why did I worry so much? You know? Yeah, exactly. And then I think you get to ask um one custom question. Okay. I think that's, um, how, that's how the interview went. It's okay, like, okay. Do you remember what I asked you last year? Last time you asked like, do you have any like inventions that you've ever thought of that you think would like, be cool yeah. crazy adventures so stupid <laughs> um okay what's your next three years looking like what's something you want to do like what kind of shows you want to be in you know what kind of things you want to accomplish in three years my next three years oh god so things i'll have done by the time i'm 28 <laughs> Ooh, she's almost 30 <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, oh god no i don't want to talk about that <laughs> just kidding just kidding um, maybe it's still young it's just not right now yeah yeah oh man most ambitious goals be on broadway book a national yeah, you know, be or ambitious. something like, like that big ambitions future. is that oh and also maybe like be like the lead on the tv show i think that'd be pretty cool um small term goals <laughs> something goals are more a little bit more realistic maybe establish like a name for myself in like the big chicago theaters um because i i have auditions with like a lot of like the bigger like equity theaters but i don't get in because i'm not equity so it makes it harder for me i'd like to find a stable day job i think that'd be nice um i don't have a day job right now which i'm sure is, in the next three years yeah yeah like yeah, yeah. I think last time I was asking you a lot of questions about like your thoughts about like graduating high school and like being an adult and going to college and stuff like that. Are you nervous about college? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so let's check in. How are you? How are you doing? Well, I dropped out of college <laughs> after two years, but I went back this past fall semester. So we're doing that again. Good for you. Uh, I changed my major like three times within those two years that I was in college. So I, and I still don't really know what I want to do, but doing computer science right now, see how that goes, you know? I mean, honestly, I'm still trying to figure out like my passion or whatever, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Do you still talk to your friends from high school? I'm only one, really. Oh, two. really? Three. Like a couple, like a handful, but one um, mainly. And then the other is like, I see them whenever I come visit, but like, it's not too often I visit. What's something that you wish you knew five years ago? I wish I knew that it was gonna be okay to not have a plan for everything. When I was 17, I was like, okay, I'm gonna finish college when I'm 22. I'm gonna get married or engaged by 23. I'm gonna be a wife at 24. I'm gonna have kids at 25. I was like, girl. You had a life girl, plan. Right no, bitch, I had a plan. But, but now I'm like, it's okay to take it one day at a time. Yeah. Like you don't have to stress yourself out so much yeah. to worry about the future. Yeah. It's going to be there, you know, yeah. it's fine. Oh God. I couldn't imagine having kids at 25. No. Yeah. Excuse like, me. Right now, I couldn't like, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be graduated and like about to get married, like be engaged right now. I remember I thought 25 was like, oh, I'm going to get married at 25. And I'm like, no. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I think I it'd be nice, to... but I don't want to. Oh, no, yeah. Sometimes I'll ask Greg, because Greg's really, like, nervous about, like, being married right now. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I understand. But I'm like, Greg, would you ever marry me for the tax benefits at least? He's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, Greg, I would marry you for the, for the tax benefits. For the tax benefits. For the tax benefits at least. Yeah, no. Well, I think me and Angel agreed that we would wait until at least... 25 so i mean it's a possibility still but right. but like i mean that gives you like two years to like you know live together and see if you you know yeah, yeah. Anything and we've been living together for like this is our second year so okay yeah fun 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 yeah. well thank you for doing this with me i really appreciate you doing it mm -hmm. uh, i guess happy thank early you. birthday thank you also you have the birthday again tomorrow <laughs> okay but also i guess thank you for dealing with my antics because i feel like i feel like especially five years ago i was crazy wild was crazy <laughs> <laughs> i feel like it's mellowed okay. out a little bit but i really appreciate you being here i'm not gonna cry i'm gonna i'm gonna cry i'm not gonna cry, bit, I'm not gonna cry. No. You're, just, you're just so close to me you know you're like you're like the sister that i've never had no literally i mean i have a sister but like you're like someone i actually you know i'm close with yeah Oh, don't cry. <laughs> it's too late. My it's little baby. Late. <laughs> well, okay. Well, maybe in five years again, we can do this. When, I'll, when I'm going to be 30. Yeah, and then I'll, be like, I'll be like questioning my life when I'm turning 25. It'll, it'll, it'll be, be like the Billie no. Eilish interview, but instead of every year, it's every five years. Yeah. I feel like that's more doable. Yeah, and okay. I'll be like 27. Ew. <laughs> can you imagine? Mm. Mm -mm. actually i don't even think first of all i don't think zoom would be a thing i think we would be holograms <laughs> i think we would have holographic interviews in five years in five years <laughs> okay well, well i'll hold you to that i'm gonna stop recording now you can just say goodbye to the people goodbye people my goodbye. cat just spilled my water okay well thank you for doing this with me you're welcome i love you so much i love you oh <laughs> I'm really sorry, I love you too. <laughs>